Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, welcome to the Scale Model Outlaw. If it's your first time checking in, we hope you like what you see. If you do, maybe you leave us a comment down there in the old comment section. Somewhere down there, under, yeah, down there. Or how about a big old thumbs up? We love them big old thumbs ups. And uh, subscribe would be nice. Doesn't cost a dime, and we appreciate them. Return viewers, guys and gals, we appreciate you. All right, guys, it's Sunday morning, and in my case really early Sunday morning. It's like 2.30 a.m., 2.35 a.m. Been up late working on some stuff, and uh, I figure if I don't get this video made now, I won't get it made tomorrow, or I'll probably sleep all day tomorrow. Who knows what happens? But I wanted to get it out. It's the uh, Sunday morning cars and coffee. Uh, our good friend Paul over at Left Coast, he's a uh, Left Coast model shop. He's got this ball rolling with this Sunday cars and coffee thing, and we want to be a part of it because I think it's pretty awesome. But before we get into what our cars and coffee is going to be about today, let's talk to our sponsors, hear what they got to say. Let's listen to them, IcemanCollections.com and ScaleFinishes.com. Let's hear from them, and we'll be right back. And welcome back. Always good to hear from those guys, ScaleFinishes.com. For all your painting, uh, painting supply needs, go there, fill up your cart, and down there at a discount code, put in Outlaw 10, save you 10%. Then go over to IcemanCollections.com, same thing, get all of his 3D printed products and uh, check out all the different categories. He's got kits category, he's got a out of the stash category, he's got a products category where um, he has glues and all different kinds of stuff that you might need to help build your model. Yeah, same thing with him. Scroll to the bottom of the cart and you'll see the discount code. Put in Outlaw10, save you 10%. Well, all right, our cars and coffee. Well, like I said, I've been up late tonight and uh, working. And uh, what's what's that, you ask? That's not a reminder to remember to do something. That's not me uh, tying a string around my fingers so I wouldn't forget. That is the age old X Acto knife. Yep shoved it right in there just yeah <laughs> anyway our cars and coffee for those of you that um have been on my channel for a while or have ever taken the time to go back into the archives you know that we've uh we've got a pacer that we started building early on on the channel and it's been on hold for a while and now we're, we're getting to the point where we want to get it cracked back out we're not quite there yet because we've got some group builds that uh, we want to get taken care of in uh, the Porsche group build and uh, Street Machine group build. And of course, our uh, Saturday Night Short Track group build. Been working on some of that tonight, so we'll have an update for that too. But uh, anyway, the old Pacer's here and we wanted to bring it out and show you guys for maybe maybe the first time that some of y'all have seen it. Um, kind of a little bit of a history about it. it uh, I got the... Uh, inspiration if you will from Chip Foose on YouTube he did a uh, a drawing of a pacer and uh, I really once I once I saw that drawing I was really really impressed by it so uh, I kind of took that ball and ran with it but first things first it's a pacer with a helifant motor we've got the helifant motor all done and it's ready to go in in fact it's been mocked in a time or two but uh, that's the um, motor for it and then here's our interior uh, again if you watch the videos you know i made that roll cage out of uh, tig wire which is pretty cool different uh, we bought a little um, jig type thing and that's in the video as well here's our here's our chassis that's right matt it's the tip of the hat to you here's our chassis pretty proud of it it's a Iceman Collections chassis with uh, some 3d printed tires if I'm tires and rims if I'm honest I don't remember where I got the tires and wheels this kit is uh, we've been working on this for about a year but the aluminum uh, that you see here is real aluminum and it, it um, I got it from well Dollar Tree those little cooking pans that you get usually around Thanksgiving time or whatever to hold the beans and the in the uh, gravy and the chickens and the leftover well I uh, use it cut the bottom out of it on the flat part and came up with that pan and this is the body now it's a pacer 
76 model but if you look real close obviously the back windows have been filled in and deleted and the bumpers are off a 67 Camaro I would love to tell you front and rear bumpers are off a 67 Camaro I would love to tell you that I came up with that idea all by myself but I'd be a liar chip in his drawing actually used those same bumpers and that's what inspired me to use them uh, they do fit really really well but it's it's funny how the contour of that vehicle the 67 Camaro and the Pacer we're very close. I mean, very close on the front and the rear. So again, we've been working on it. We're going to get back after it, but uh, it's always fun to pull it out and get some new ideas and look it over. And uh, I'm sorry, it's not quite on cam there. Is it? Pull it this way. Now you're not going to be able to see it. But either way, that is our cars and coffee for today. 76 Pacer Outlaw style. All right, guys, we hope you have an awesome Sunday. Uh, looking forward to seeing everybody else's Cars and Coffee video for today. So as always, be kind to others, be safe, and keep on modeling.